So, if Watford versus Sheffield Wednesday, it's Danny Wells' first game in charge. Let's see if we can get all three points. Hello and welcome to this video. You could like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'd much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm, sharing gets in for the people's faces, subscribing let me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live and when live streams happen. There'll be one tonight. It'll be the debrief where we talk about the game and everything all and above. So this is Danny Rolls' first game in charge. It feels like this international break's been very long-winded. We had the whole Cisco sack in then before the break. And then we had uh, Tomo taking in charge of one game. And then we go into the it, the la first week of the international break where we got him all announced and all done. Then second week, we've been able to get coaches in this week. So let's have a look at the starting lineup for both teams. So it Bakerman, Nagata, Hudderton, Portis, um, where are we? Lewis, Ince, Livermore, Masuda, Bayo, Della Bashiru, his brother, uh, not that one, but he's that one doing well. Martinez, Martins, uh, the goalkeeper is Harmer, Sorella, Rajovakic, Conte, Cena, Healy, not even trying that, Bella, and Kim, Kim Ma Bamba, I think that's how you say it. I'm really bad at names. If you're a Watford fan, I apologize. I have butchered all of them. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday, go with Dawson in net. Valentin, Iortha, Diaby, which is interesting. Uh, Femiwo, so it looks like Femiwo got his place as a uh, left back again. Uh, Hendrick, Butley, Bannon, Masaba, Patterson, and Winda. So I'll be interested in how playing the top, how who playing up top. Are we playing with a. Uh, Make shit kind of four two two four four at the back and then two at top. We possibly or is it one up top? It could be one up top actually with Windass on his own with Masaba and Patterson on the other side. Uh, the subs are Vaquez, Palmer, Bernard, James, Folks, Byers, Wilkes, Gregory, and Smith. Now I've already seen on Twitter people going, "What's he doing? Why has he done that? Why?" That's just ridiculous. Why they picked that? So same same manager, different thing. And let's just see what happens, shall we? Because at the end of the day, yeah, he picked what the team he picked. Uh, slightly similar to um, what has it got done in the past. But we've got to see what happens. Different mentality, different way of playing. Might be completely different set of ways they come out and attack this differently. So let's see what happens. Uh, as... It's his first game in charge, so we're going to have to just get behind him and hopefully can change it and the players buy into it a bit more than the last man. It didn't look like they were, even though a lot of said they, they were fine with it, but it just wasn't working. So let's see if this works. So it, Watford versus Sheffield Wednesday. Let's see if we can get all three points. It'd be nice to get our first win of the season. So first off, very poor by both teams. You can tell why both teams are in the position they are currently in. Uh, both teams not being able to make any real clear-cut chances. It's like pot shot trying to see what would happen, and that was about it. Sadly, uh, we just really struggle at times just to get people into the box when we got some chances. But the same for Watford. Watford are hitting balls, and the balls are just going miles wide, or they're getting crossed, and it's not even close to going in. Now, Watford did have a good couple of chances, though, where they played it across the box, and their players had just not managed to get hold of it. Now, Masabar's had an up-and-down game so far. Keep doing the step-overs to try and get past uh, his man. And at times it works, at times it doesn't. But I thought Buckley's had a really good... Uh, First little half. Uh, little winning the ball tackle. Really good one right near the end of the um, first half where he won the ball, got it to uh, Windass, and Windass got brought down, and the Watford player got a yellow card for it. And we tr get the ball in from that free kick, and it's a header by Bambo, and it's not really done anything. But at times, the pressing is much better, but you can still see between midfield and defence, they are way too far apart. They need to be a little bit closer to each other. But the press is working. They are running at the Watford players who seem to be playing out from the back all the time. It's a very restless atmosphere as well uh, there because they seem to be 
not happy with the football. They're seeing that a moment if a goal goes in by Wednesday, it could turn the crowd atmosphere completely. Uh, and that's something we need to really do. We need to ch have that kind of ability. One of the interesting things uh, during the first half, Chris Powell was talking to Mallet Wilkes on the sideline, and Mallet Wilkes, this is the formation he's thrived in at Hull. So it could be the perfect storm for him to come in have that formation he likes and do well. But at half time, there's no surprise here that it's nil-nil. Uh, both teams have just not been brilliant with the ball at times. Uh, been a bit wasteful and no one's really had any clear-cut chances to really go for it. There was a good header by Windass as well, uh, which if it was on target, probably would have been 1-0. But at half time, it's nil-nil and I can see why. So in the second half... Looked better, tried to get a bit more going forward, but nothing really stuck. And at the time, you're thinking, right, we can get out on there because they're not that good, Watford. They were really, really poor. Uh, I think one of the things that I think this going forward, they were just struggling each time. And we try and get things going forward, and it just doesn't really hit. And we'll go on to the crux of what happened. There was a penalty uh, on Masaba. And then it looks like it, right, we've got a penalty. We'll go up and hopefully go that. And then it gets uh, turned over by the lineman. Now, if you actually look at it, it does look slightly that he nicks the ball and it goes for a corner. But I'm still not sure. It's one of those ones uh, where you can see why he gave the penalty originally. And... But I've never known it where the linemen got involved and changed it like that. But it changed the game. It completely changed the game for us by that not being given. Because our head didn't drop, but it kind of gave Watford that kind of kick up the backside that they needed to go, hey, we can go on and do this. We just got lucky. Wow, we got lucky. Let's go on and try and get something here. And that's the problem. Um... Hendrick had kept on having little pop shots, but nothing really uh, hitting forward. And it's like, things were working. We were pressing really well. Patterson worked his socked off today. Uh, and we do make some subs. Wilkes on, Masaba on. And you look at the system, it's the system he played a lot at Hull, but it just doesn't, he's not worked at Wilkes for whatever reason at Sheffield Wednesday. He got a first touch, but he doesn't have a second touch. When he does go at people, he seems to just run into trouble. Uh, it, whatever happens, it's just not worked. And you're thinking, right, what can we do here? So we do change it. We bring on James uh, and off go Butley. And I thought Butley had an excellent game. We go at three at the back. So you're thinking three at the back, something this lot have done a bit before. And you're thinking, right, we can do this. But they have a free, we have a free kick, we play it in, and they just go on a run. They go on the run down the right-hand side. He cuts inside into the outside of the box, has a shot, it's low, it's straight past Dawson's hand, and it's 1-0. And from that, you're like, we're done. We are absolutely done. Like, you're trying to see if they can G them up and get them moving again, but it just completely gut him because... That was their first shot on target for the entire game at that point. Their first shot. And at that point, they've had two shots out of a none on target. And now we've and we'd had seven, ten shots and seven on target. And we just can't go. Uh, I thought, right, this could be changing. You saw a bit that looked like it could work. But it's, it's a hard job for anyone to come in and change it, even somebody who's never managed before. And he's getting in the his staff, apparently going to get another member of staff in today. Uh, Nico uh, Cunnable, they're trying to get a deal for him. Um, trying to see if he can come in, he's 43. Again, worked at RB Leipzig, two as an assistant manager, then Leipzig as a youth manager at both clubs. So, makes a lot of sense. Uh, we bring on, eventually we bring on Smith and Gregory. Uh, for uh, Windass Wind and Hendrick, but it's no real point. It's we've only lost the game. There were six minutes. We have a corner that go in. We try and get something from it, but again, it's another loss. And it, I think that's now either nine or ten points adrift now. And it's getting 
more and more harder to see us trying to get out of it. It was a good... If it, if it wasn't in the position we were in, you think, okay, that was an okay game. Like, we've done uh, all right because I thought we played better than Watford at the time. But don't get me wrong, Watford look very poor team. They look like a team full of no confidence at all. Uh, and you can tell the fan for on them as well. So they get three points, though. That's all that matters. They got the three points, and we're now lingering at the bottom on three points, and you're thinking, what happens next? We've got Plymouth, who are on 12 points in 21st. You've got Rotherham on six, and you've got QPR on eight points. It's going to be a right little scrap for us to get out of this. And you just hope, from a Wednesday point of view, that we can get a win just to turn our fortunes around and try and get some confidence into the boys. But Danny probably already knew he had a tough job going into it. He's now seen a first competitive game with us. And I think we need to find a way of making chances stick because there were some moments in that way you're thinking a little bit more quality and maybe it's something. But at the end of the day, it's done now. Three points to Watford at home. We get on the coat back home. We dust ourselves down. And then we get another long trip to Plymouth on Wednesday. And see how we do against them. But it's not a fun time being a Wednesday fan. Danny took a big job on. And yeah, it's it's going to be difficult. But we'll see what happens. But there'll be a debrief around 7, 8 o'clock. I ain't decided what time I'm doing it yet. Come join me. It won't be long because I do want to watch the other football in the evening as well. So... Join me then and I'll speak to you later, but it's a lot for Wednesday again.